Hello, hello. Today we're going to be talking about the Dark Moon Greatsword, which is a greatsword that bears many similarities to the Moonlight Greatsword from past iterations of Souls games. The sword has a high scaling with intelligence and has a unique skill called Moonlight Greatsword, funnily enough. And when you use this skill, it'll buff your weapon, increasing your magic damage. And also, when you use heavy attacks, it will send a beam of light forward. Now, something that differs with this sword from the other iterations of the Moonlight Greatsword is that it also causes frost buildup. So you might be able to inflict frostbite on someone if you're able to hit them enough times. And being one of the legendary armaments and just being just a Moonlight Greatsword, I had to check this weapon out. I might also check out all the other legendary armaments as well in the future. Now the talismans we'll be using today are the Erdtree's Favor plus one because I'm not actually far enough in the game. This is a new account. I'm actually middle level 120 and we'll get to that in a bit. But I'm running the Erdtree's Favor plus one. Uh, the green turtle talisman because I like to swing a lot. The Godfrey icon because I heard that this helps with this sword. I'm not really too sure. I tried some testing. It didn't seem to have that much of an effect, but I guess we will see. And the Stargazer Heirloom, just to increase intelligence, because, you know, that's just damage. I don't really know what else to put here, so we'll be using this. And as for the stats on the right, I have 40 Vigor, 30 Mind, 30 uh, Endurance, and 54 Intelligence. Uh, now, if I were to do this build over again, I would reduce the Mind and Endurance stats and probably put more into Intelligence, Strength, Dexterity, maybe even Vigor. But, um... Yeah, larval tears don't grow on trees, so I'm not going to be uh, resetting that. I also apologize if you hear a bird in the background, which I'm sure you have so far in the video. It likes to speak when I start talking, so like it's whenever I start talking that it goes off. You know, I can't really control it. It's not even in my room. It's like two rooms away. All right, now I shut the door to the room that it's in, so now it's two shut doors away. So hopefully we're good now. Let's get it. We're in invasions. Oh wait, they're having a 1v1. I'm, I'll respect it. They're almost having a 1v1. If you can call it that. Just kind of looking at each other. Dude, they're just, they're just not fighting each other. They're just looking at each other. Like, what are they doing? What? Are you guys kidding me? I swear. They just stared at each other for like five minutes. Just... Moving around, like, slightly, just shifting. Dude, is this what Elden Ring has come to? Well, I win. I know you just kind of never know what you're going to get with invasions, but, like, come on, man. Maybe we should go to Helig Tree. Helig Tree invasions are pretty fun. Yeah, I might do that. Oh, I win. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh my goodness, that was totally an accident. Okay, I'm alive. Alrighty, that works out. Enough damage, didn't really get much use out of the projectile, but didn't need it. Like, I accidentally just die bomb that guy. Like, I did not mean to fall there. Already, I must make my way. <laughs> Just trying to hide behind the, the tree. They definitely know I'm coming. I might most definitely die here. No! I, I freaking had the, the flask up and now my my crib's in tears. It's not as effective when they know you're coming. Oh, they're ready. Already. I really want to showcase the charge attack. Oh, it's really bad on. Darn. That's a dragon. <laughs> Oh, I just heard someone die. Um, I'm gonna assume that wasn't the host. Doot. Wait, not up here. Wait, I'm hearing dudes. Wait, where are they? Alright, they know I'm coming. That's for sure. Yo, what up, homie? No. Uh oh. Oh, 
Ah, I couldn't trade that. Let's see it. Spider. Using the projectiles here. They're so inconsistent with this terrain. Not a very consistent weapon as it is. Whoa. Yeah, an issue I have with this weapon is that it is pretty inconsistent when it comes to hills and whatnot. Just any decline in vertical uh, structure, it'll either go up or down when you're targeted. So you have to, like, free lock if you want to, like, freely aim it. Which, uh, can be utilized, but it is still quite difficult. But, you know, it's 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 still a pretty cool weapon. I enjoy this uh, this weapon. It, I think it's a cool iteration of the Moonlight Great Swords. I mean, not much has changed, but it's still a cool weapon nonetheless. I also do like the crystalline structure within the sword. It makes it look like ice. I think that is a really cool uh, feature. You can get some frostbite procs, PvE, dealing a good bit of extra damage. However, you are like kind of relying on a heavy weapon and using heavy attacks on a heavy weapon to inflict a projectile. Which, uh, does kind of, you know, take away DPS. But, you know, you do have a ranged option with this sword without really, uh, needing anything else. So I guess it's alright in that regard. But yeah, let me hear your thoughts on the weapon down in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content, and I'll be out of here. Have a good one.